Thank you for your service to St. Michael's as an altar server. This video will hopefully help train you to properly serve at a funeral. Before Mass begins, you should light the candles on the altar by the ambo and the paschal candle. In the beginning, the book will lead the way with the incense, with the cross and candles following. At this point, all should go to the right side of the font. Then you will stop at the font. Father will do a blessing and the pall will be placed on the casket. Once the song starts, turn around and continue to walk. Make sure you are walking slowly. The incense will go away by the chairs. The cross and candles will now put the cross and the candles away. Then the priest will want to fill the thurible. The cross will now come get the boat from the book. Then the book will go stand near the casket. After the priest is done incensing, the cross will take the incense back. The book will now go to the priest. After the first reading, the cross will go back to get the incense. After the second reading, the cross will go to Father with the incense, then go straight to the ambo. There is no gospel procession.
As you are going to the ambo, make sure you are swinging the incense so it produces smoke. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The priest will now turn around and get the incense to incense the book of Gospels. After this, you will put it away. But before you leave, make sure you add a charcoal. At this time, Father is preaching the homily. The service should stay in place until the preparation of the gifts. During the beginning of the liturgy of the Eucharist, the candles will put the corporal on the altar and the cross will go back for the procession with the gifts. After the candles put the corporal on the altar, the book will put the missile on the altar. The cross will now lead the gifts up to the altar. The candles should be at the altar with the hand washing articles. The book will have the incense, and the cross will take the pollen purificator up to the altar. The priest will now want to fill the thurible, and then he will incense the altar. After the priest is done incensing, the book should take the incense back, and depending on if you are senior server, you should flip the pages or go sit down. Now the servers will have nothing to do until after the Eucharistic prayer. After receiving communion, the cross should get the chalice tray from the altar, the book should go back to the chair, and the candles should get ready for the second round of hand washing. After taking the corporal off, the candles and cross should go straight back and grab their items and put cloaks on. You will only need the cloaks if it is cold outside and it is a burial at St. Michael's. The cross will get the incense, one candle will take two candles, and the other candle will take the cross. After the prayer, after communion is over, you will go line up in the center of the church for the procession out. The cross will then hand the incense to the book. Then the candle with the cross will hand the cross to the cross. Then the candle with two candles will hand one candle to the other candle. After Father is done with the prayer, he will want to fill the thurible. Then he will incense the casket one last time. After Father is done incensing, the book will go put the incense away and proceed to line up. Christ and are with you and with our brother Christ. 
Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. For this procession, for the burial at St. Michael's, we will process out the aisle between sections 5 and 6. The cross should remain in front of the two candles. Then, we will walk down the ambulatory going towards the door. Now, we will stop to take the pall off and the book and the priest will put their cloak on. After the book has their cloak on, they should grab the holy water. At this point, we will walk out the door and there will be somebody leading you to the burial site. Make sure you are walking slowly. After taking the corporal off, the candles and cross should go straight back and grab their items. The cross takes incense, one candle takes two candles, and one candle takes the cross. The book will now follow the priest to the casket. The cross will give the incense to the book, then the one candle will hand the cross to the cross, then the other candle will hand one candle to the other candle. Now the priest will want to fill the thurible and he will incense the casket. After the priest is done incensing, the book will now put the incense away. Father will now say the closing prayer and all the altar servers should be in line. The procession out of the church now begins. Once Father gives you the okay, you should turn around. Everybody should proceed out of the church and all go to one side of the baptismal font. After going through the center doors, we should stop and turn around so the pall can be taken off the casket. Now once we turn around, we will walk and proceed to the doors. The cross and two candles will then line up on the right side in this order. Cross in the middle and two candles on either side. The book and the priest will continue into the vestibule to the bless the casket. Servers. Although you may not know it, the families at St. Michael's Parish appreciate everything you do. Funerals, though they are not fun, are a necessary part of life, and the families are very appreciative that they can have you serve them. So thank you for all that you do. <laughs>